together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe So we lifted out on Thursday, today is Saturday and um, so yesterday I uh, started sanding out the chip on the bow and we found a whole lot of water and it's still weeping out of here. So I've got to just take this back here and then fill that. Um, I turn into a, uh, an umpa lumper today because I've got to sand the hull. So that's uh, that's one of the jobs for today, is to is to get this sanded back. I did a little bit of a test sanding here, and uh, yeah, so I just want to get it back so it's smooth. Um, we need to take a look at the rudder because uh, we've got a little chip here, and, and again water dripping out. There's a there's a hole there. That I just need to fill. Um, the prop, I've um, cleaned the prop back to, to bronze, so that's ready for priming and uh, anti-fouling, and I've cleaned the shaft. They're making me a new a bracket for here uh, in stainless steel, so uh, I'm waiting for, uh, for that, and I'm waiting for a price. The through-hole that we fitted yesterday sycaflex has now gone off so that's good so i can tighten that down now and that's that sorted so that's today's jobs guys um so we'll start with that through hole fitting i think and then once i've completed that um then uh, see where we go from there a little bit of sanding at the bow i think uh, i also need to sort out this uh, where we uh, we ran a, a ground on rocks, so I just need to see if I can flatten those off um, and make it look a bit more presentable. Uh, the other thing I need to do quite seriously is have a tidy up in here because this is looking terrible. Uh, but now I can do this seacock and fasten that. I can get the floor back down uh, and start to make it look a bit more presentable. So, okay, that's fastened in, and uh, it's got the obligatory PTFE tape on it, and then I've put some more of this goop on, and uh, taken that right up, so hopefully that will mean that there's no water going to seep out of any of the joints. So, uh, let that cure, I'm not going to put the pipe on until it's cured, but it's the right way around for me to be able to now close the seacock without any problems so it, it nicely closes and it opens which is what I want so yeah I'm just gonna let that set and uh, we can put the pipe back on later I'm gonna melt but anyway let's get cracking now might be a good time to hit the thumbs up button if you could. Uh, it really helps the YouTube algorithm which in turn helps our channel and it doesn't cost anything so I would much appreciate it. where the anchor has chipped a piece of gel coat out and I've uh, started grinding it out and all of a sudden found this void and uh, water came pouring out when I, mean, when I say pouring I mean pouring uh, lots of water came out 
And so this has got to dry uh, and I've got to chase this void back and fill it. Uh, but I can't do that until it's dried. So in the end, to get all the water out, I had to start drilling holes. And the wall of the chain locker uh, is just forward of the bow thruster, just forward of this cleat here, and it drops down. So the first hole I've drilled is just at the back of what I hope is the bulkhead here. And uh, yeah, lots and lots of water pouring out. And I chased it basically down gradually, drilling holes as I went. So all these holes have now got to be filled in. Okay, so oh, first bit of good news. The chain locker is a lot deeper than I expected. And it comes down to about here, about here, which is about 120 centimetres, 1.2 metres. But the other bit of good news, I don't know whether you can see it on this, but there's a repair down there, a hole, which I think might actually be where someone has been in there before and you can get to it from here in fact, you can see a bit better there is the discoloration and the filler so I think somebody's been in there before uh, so I'm going to start chipping that filler off and see if that is actually a void and if it is then that's our way in uh, but it means I'm going to take the bar thruster off to get enough space to get in there I think we'll see this is this is the water tank so this is as far as I can go um, I think this has been off before you see here so I think somebody's had this panel off and if that's the case then that's my way in take the panel off and see if I've got I've got any room to get in there so interesting I have ground back right the way back and I cannot see a join in the repair so although there's a massive repair here it doesn't look as though there's a join so I cut a little exploratory hole through I could see and it looks as though whoever has done this has injected it with expanding foam so I don't know if that's factory or or what but that's going to make my life a lot more difficult i think okay so it gets worse i can't come in from the top i can't come in from the bulkhead because all this light here is filled with expanding foam so i've admitted defeat and i've called in an expert I suspect what he's going to have to do is actually take all this lot out which would be a real pain a real pain but yeah well our expert scratched his head said i've never seen that before you have to be very careful with that so looks like we're doing it ourselves guys today is definitely an inside the boat day it's raining which has turned the yard into a bit of a quagmire. In fact, I think uh, there's only two other people here in the entire yard. So, uh, thankfully I have got some jobs to do. Um, so I can start basically digging the foam out from the bow and uh, getting ready to, uh, to fiberglass the interior in there. Um, and I've got the prop shaft to remove which means I've got to basically undo all the bolts and, and get it ready at the back of the gearbox so I'll do that as well so yeah busy day okay so I've had enough for today it's going on 4.30 now and uh, that's what I've done so far I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's 
So I've cut a hole in our bulkhead and the, uh, the plywood was wet and peeling as you can see here. So it's a good job I've done it. And I managed to get down as far as fiberglass but I've gone as far as I can reach without taking the um, bow thruster off which unfortunately looks as I'm going to have to do because I'm going to have to lay down somehow to get in there it's a messy messy job I found the quickest way of getting rid of it is actually a, a wire wheel on my uh, on my drill uh, but then you've got to vacuum it out and the vacuum cleaner is just not going to cope with this so uh, I've got to have a rethink in terms of how we get access but we've got access uh, so how we get this stuff out um, yeah I need to think about it Ah, oh, the power of YouTube we reached out to our friend Ian on SV Blown Away if you've not seen his channel you really should go and take a look there's some great things going on there but he lent us his industrial vacuum cleaner and uh, that was great because it really got the job done <laughs> surprisingly easy there's only four bolts so not too bad not too bad at all so uh, I'll move that over to one side I think we're going to take these two uh, battery cables off power cables off just to so I'm not going to damage them and not move the whole lot that way uh, and then we can get in to, to start on the interior. I don't know if you can see this on the camera but that's the light from the first hole where I had uh, the job cut away and drilled the hole. So yeah. Okay so uh, that is all the foam out and you can see the hole in the bow there and then the drill holes down. So I'm going to get a wire brush and just finish cleaning it off and then a sander and just sand and rough it all up ready to start laying down fiberglass. So what a job, what a job. Okay I'm going to call it a day at that. So I've still got a little bit of cleaning to do in there before it's ready for uh, fiberglass but I've ground back the gel coat you can see the light coming through the gel through the fiberglass now so uh, yeah it's a little bit more cleaning uh, and then I've got to tackle the source of the problem which is the floor of the chain locker before I start fiberglassing anything shut because um, it's definitely the floor of the chain locker that is causing the problem so I'm going to start cleaning the chain locker out tomorrow, weather permitting. Um, and then we can start to move forward. So that's it for today, I think. Okay, so I've cleaned the locker out. But as you can see, there's still water in the bottom because the drain holes are just slightly proud. So we've got a wet vac to vacuum out the rest of the water whatever little stones are left and then uh, I think when we come to repair this we're going to have to pour some epoxy in there just to level it off I think that's probably the best thing to do to it uh, so uh, yeah so let's crack on well, the wet vac had just burnt out I saw smoke coming out of it which is marvellous um, I've got most of it out, I've just got a tiny little spot left and some dirt so it's done the job but that means I owe somebody a wet back 
not nice, not planned. Okay, that's dry enough for now. So back downstairs, take a look at the state of the roof of the or the underside of the chain locker. Well, there is a layer of plywood that is uh, rotten and falling off, but the bulk of the actual floor of the chain locker looks pretty solid. So I'm going to leave it and uh, we'll let it dry out. So it's about a week and a half now since you came out of the water. The prop shaft is off. Um, I think I found someone to do something about the P-bracket. I've now filled this with thickened epoxy and the idea is to just get it fair enough that I've got a shape on it so that when I come to fiberglass it it's got the, um, the actual shape of the keel so today's job is just to sand this down get it a bit smoother and then put some more thickened epoxy on until I actually get the shape I want uh, and while I'm doing that I might as well get inside and start fiberglassing the inside as well uh, while the outside is curing um, and then there's a little side project I'm just uh, cleaning the bottom of the dinghy so uh, it's almost there but it needs just a little bit more just to finish that off so I'll be doing that while the uh, epoxy goes off um, this filling here is not structural it's literally just to get the shape that I want before I start layering fiberglass on it and I've got a bit to put up here to fill that out as well and then here where it's flat just to to get that sort of curve that I want on the bow so okay so I've pre-cut my fiberglass there's, uh, there's 12 layers there and I've got some chop strand mat as well there's about 14 layers there so I'm going to do the um, this fiberglass first right at the bow as far as I can go uh, and then I'm going to lay this behind it and overlapping because it's the bow that needs the strength so um, at least that's what I'm hoping and then I'll lay this down just to cover where any holes have been as well. I've got a little bit left over here of just off cuts. So um, it's going to be a nasty job um, and I don't want to be breathing the fumes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fan in there and the vacuum cleaner end in there as well to try and suck the fumes out as I go. I think that's the only thing I can really do as it stands. So I'm going to mix up my uh, resin and then uh, get in there.
right, let's go on. nicely. I've got three pieces left to put on, but I've run out of resin. So I'm going to go and get some more resin. So we can finish it off. Uh, and then, as I say, the other fiberglass is just this bottom bit down here. So. Oh, today's a nice sunny day. And uh, this thick in the box has now gone off enough to be able to sand the back. And uh, I think there's enough on there now to get the shape I need for the fiberglass. And as it's forecast to rain tomorrow, I think that's what we're going to do today is get as much fiberglass done as we can basically on this bow uh, and get it to a point where it's um, at least solid again. Okay, there's I think four, maybe five on there now. One thing fiberglass really hates is corners. So uh, yeah, it took a bit of doing, but it's on. And uh, these little bits here will sort of sand flat once it's all cured and gone off. So uh, yeah, and it's uh, right up there. So yeah, I think it's good. Well, it rained last night, there was a thunderstorm, so it was a very heavy rain. And in here, is it dry? Oh yes, it's water. Oh God, look at that. That's water. Bugger. So it is leaking from the chain locker. Okay, so sanding it down now. I just want to take off any unbonded edges and make sure that, for example, here, this is actually sanded back down to gel coat so that I've got a smooth finish. And the same on this side, I've just felt it there. Look, it's just, uh, just unbonded there. So a little bit more sanding to do just to finish that off. So, fairing compound is on. This is a two-part epoxy filler, quite a coarse filler. Um, but what I'm wanting is to just flatten the fiberglass out. Uh, so I'll let that cure and sand that back. And then that'll give me hopefully my flat surface to be able to start to paint on some gel coat. Oh. I've actually got down into the chain locker, which is uh, pretty interesting. This is uh, where I've put some epoxy, so I've filled this with epoxy to try and level it off. But we're still getting leaks, and from what I can tell, this here is delaminated and although that's not necessarily where the leak is from back here is also delaminated so what I'm going to do is get a Dremel on this I think to start off with and just get rid of all these sharp edges and then we can think about maybe some epoxy filler maybe a little bit of fiberglass around there and then if i can turn around and have a look at the back side yeah again it feels i can't turn around but it does feel sharp so i'm thinking again if i can uh, take off the rough edges fill in where i can feel plywood Yeah, I think that's the source of our leak, is these two. So, and what I'll do is I'll run a, a fillet of um, epoxy filler down here and down here uh, along all the edges. And then we can 
paint this and it'll look nice and pretty. <laughs> Also makes both sides. So clean this up with a vacuum cleaner, acetone, and then we can start. But I don't know what I need to do now, so It's rained again overnight, but like an idiot, I didn't towel this dry after I got all the water out of it yesterday. I got about a litre of water out of it. So what was in there this morning, I think, could have been what was left by the drill pump. So I've just toweled it dry and we just have to watch it now. I mean, there is water in the chain locker that won't drain out where it's just slightly lower than the, the drain plugs. So, um, yeah, it's still drizzling, so I'll just have to keep an eye on it, I think, today, and carry on doing what I was planning to do. That's it for another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button and notify so you'll get notified of our new videos. Uh, why not take a trip over to Kofi? Uh, or Patreon. If you're on Patreon and you're a member, you get to see them a little bit earlier.